This is the um, 40th uh, anniversary of Collins Living Learning Center. So it's a reunion. Alumni are coming from all the decades um, that have since 1972. Um, it's a weekend event. We have reception and an outdoor dinner tonight, tomorrow, various activities, um, a banquet tomorrow evening. People are meeting old friends, um, coming to see the place where they spent their college years. Collins is a really unique community within the university and it was one of the first living learning centers created in the United States um, back in the 70s. You know, people who Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited to see people whom I haven't seen in 20 years or more, you know. When I first moved into the dorm room, he'd gotten there a day early. So when I walked in to the, open the door, there was no room left in the dorm room at all because he had an entire drum set set up on one side. No, of the I didn't floor. bring drums, but I had you, records. You had so. records filled up to here, and there wasn't anywhere for me to put my two suitcases even down in the room. So that was the longest running friendships we have are the ones that are ran randomly generated by a university computer. This is walking up. Pretty so. much. I live here now, and like people my age live here. Um, but it's super incredible to see like the, the like the the varied history like behind it, like like where all these people like end up going and then coming back here. It's really interesting. You know, just you know, different different art art people, music. It was great. It was just a wonderful experience. You know, you got to appreciate so much more of the world. I just really loved it. I loved the architecture. I loved the feel. I loved the fact that this actually isn't that unusual. was actually in Ed, which is where my room was, uh, because I would come down here in the winter time in flip-flops and everybody would be all bundled up and I would just go, you know, you should have lived in Ed, then you wouldn't have to turn. <laughs> anyway, I just really enjoyed it and I'm happy to be here. I haven't seen him in like 30 years and I haven't seen him in 30 years. <laughs> And yet we recognized each other right away. We're beginning to reminisce within the first five minutes that we were speaking with each other. It really was a time unlike any other in my life, completely unique. The people that I met, many of whom I'm still friends with, and incredibly smart, artistic, interesting people from all over. And so I, I literally was introduced to a lot of culture, a lot of change of people, yeah. changes of life and people, different right. people and different music right. and movies, things yeah. like movies I'd never seen and heard about yeah. before. Yeah. I, I really, I really enjoyed it when I was here. You know, I, I really liked the cross section of people I met and the fact that we all kind of knew each other. We all kind of knew each other. You know, it was like a little town. A little town. My favorite thing about Collins is that there's always people just hanging out, like in the middle of all the buildings, in the courtyard, just chilling. You know, you can always just chill or walk outside and sit on the veranda, and eventually something's bound to happen because it's a great place with a lot of great people walking around it. I uh, graduated from uh, undergrad in 76 and graduate school in 83. Ah, we just thought it was a really nice community. It was uh, Everybody was pulling together to put something new. That was the first year of the Learning Center. It was a brand new experiment, and uh, we really enjoyed being able to have classes here. We had automatically had a community we're a part of. Well, what does anyone get out of reunion? Nostalgia, memories, renewing old friendships, uh, seeing IU again, seeing that Collins is still you know, thriving, that the, the, the ideals of Collins are living on now, still 40 years after it was created. Thank you.